me for just a moment uh, as Hip 41 goes into the ring to welcome in B. Wayne Hughes and Spencer at Farm, who is uh, both buying and selling tonight. And uh, you jumped right in this, this evening with the Hip number one, Wayne. Uh, yes. Welcome and thanks for joining us, too. All right. Well, good. Thank you, and I'm glad to be here. Uh, yeah, hip number one is always the one you want to buy because <laughs> the big buyers don't arrive until later. <laughs> well, and in this case, a Malibu Moon, which um, not a stretch for you, no. you to jump in there for that breeding. No, well, I mean, last year he was the uh, leading sire in North America, and that's where I race. So I thought that's not a, not a bad place to go. And what does it feel like? So now you're on the buying end, you kick off the night with a nice purchase of Malibu Moon, but now you sit back and you sell a couple, and you sold a nice distorted humor cult, and you have another one that was hit 25, you have another one selling later on tonight. How does that, how do you react when you're in the sales ring to selling one? Well, I mean, there's a, uh, uh, people have concluded, uh, and uh, you know, I really don't know, uh, that that if you don't sell everything you produce, uh, you must be keeping the good ones. Uh, Little do they know that we don't know which ones are the good ones, but so we sell everything that we that we produce at Spinthrift. They all go in the ring, and uh, and, and most of them are sold. And uh, then uh, then we buy uh, from other uh, consigners and other breeders uh, horses that we think fit fit our program. Uh, in terms of distorted humor, outside of his marketability, which which we have seen. Uh, what is it that, that you like about him in terms of, of breeding to him for these types of horses that yeah. you're selling? Yeah, well, we, we breed to him most every year. I mean, we think he's an outstanding sire, uh, maybe uh, one of the very best here. And uh, so uh, we, we breed our, some of our mares to him, and uh, we uh, and we like to buy. I mean, we just got outbid on one uh, uh, a few minutes ago. So we do like the story of humor. He's an outstanding sire. In terms of... Um, the, the atmosphere or the feelings going into this sale, I, it's very early at this stage to, to make any type of a judgment as to how things are going, but from what you were sensing as uh, people came through and looked at the earlings, what are, what are you thinking, uh, what kind of a sale we're going to have? Uh, well, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I don't know the answer to that question. I think, uh, though, that uh, they seem to be selling okay. Um, the, uh, the horse that we bought, the number one hip, had 16 scopes. If you can imagine that, so there's a lot of buyers that were on that particular horse. Uh, I think the sale will be will be okay. And Keelan is pretty smart about it. They re redesigned uh, the way the sale is laid out. They have a select session, uh, which we're in right now, and uh, I think that was a very clever idea. Get things off uh, with a little. Yeah, and, and also uh, you know you get the buyers. Uh, uh, here for sure in the early parts of the sale because the better horses are, are there. And tell us a little bit about hip number 84 that will be selling later on tonight, the distorted humor call. Uh, you're going to have to turn the page there for me. It is by out of Macumba. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's, a, it's sort of an interesting one. Uh, uh, if you look at the pedigree, uh, you don't realize that Malibu Moon is in there because uh, so... Uh, that's a colt that, you know, he, he vets well and he looks okay and, uh, you know, he should, uh, he should be, uh, should be okay. Wait, we, we really like him. In terms of how uh, the sale works for you and having to work both sides of it, so to speak, uh, entertaining people, do you, do you, and then looking at the horses you're interested in, you, I, it's, I sense that you kind of leave the business of the selling to the consigners and the people and then yes. focus at least while you're here on on the buying is that right well i mean i have uh, two people uh that are uh seth simkin and uh ned toffee that are you know as a manager of spencer farm and they look at every horse in the sale or most every horse and determine which ones uh fit what we were trying to get done this year we wanted to buy a few uh, uh fillies to maybe uh, add to the broodmare band, and uh, so that's why uh, we bought him number one. We appreciate you joining us on the set. We know you're oh. very busy. We got another one to sell tonight, and perhaps maybe a couple more to bid on. So okay. I'm gonna let you go. I do have some more to bid on, and I'll probably be the underbidder. Thank, <laughs> thank you well, very much. We hope not. We hope uh, we hope a few more come through for you. Thanks okay. again, Dwayne Hughes. Thank you. Uh, thank getting you. back and.